What's going on guys? Welcome to the second episode of My Summer Car. If you didn't catch the first episode, the link will be in the description. But basically we went out and got all of our groceries, you know, food, oil, brake fluid, things like that that we needed. And uh, we got back to the house. Now I decided to fast forward through putting everything away because it's kind of an anal, slow process, but gaity. But I put everything away and then we dive into the engine build and this is one of the most fun parts of the actual build of the car because there's just so many little parts and it's just a lot of fun so feel free to skip through whatever you want to do but putting the engine together is pretty sweet and uh, in this episode we get that engine put together and then from there we'll do the next steps to be able to drop the engine in suspension etc and uh, yeah it's just a really cool process and again permadeath so it's uh, the consequences are there but hopefully you guys enjoy just a laid back putting something together and uh, this came from a live stream but I think it works well for YouTube so anyway guys thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you have a good time Anyway, let me get things situated here. I'm using a guide, which I would recommend everyone do if they're going to be building the engine and stuff like that. It's just the way to go. And it's really the way to go if you uh, would be building a car or putting an engine together in real life. So, um, yeah, it did stay nice and neat, Moto. All my stuff is looking good, so that's good. Well, this oil, I don't know if I ever actually... No, this one, I had it up there, didn't I? I don't know. But anyway, so I'm using a guide that tells you like what wrench sizes and stuff. Otherwise, you'd have to check the wrench, like every different wrench for every every different thing. I mean, not quite that drastic, but you'll see. So anyway, honestly, I'm gonna get the get these the fuck out of here. Let's free up some space on our desk. It's not gonna be pretty, but let's get these out of here. Just free up a little bit of room. Then we can just put our wrenches over here. I don't even need them that far. Okay, we're gonna grab our engine block. Let's see. Then we need to do the crankshaft. Sometimes you can get away with being kind of sloppy when you're putting this in there. There you go. So what I'm looking at, I'm gonna put in the link in the description for everybody watching on uh, kind of playback on YouTube. But um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I believe that crank actually doesn't have any uh, bolts or anything. So now we do need to do our main bearings, which are these fellas right here. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. There we go. I'm surprised that uh, was so difficult. It happens with some stuff occasionally, but usually it's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's get this last fella in here. Right in the middle. Now these are six nine millimeters. Boom, grab our wrench. Get these tightened down. It doesn't matter the way you tighten them down. I'm using the scroll wheel for this by the way. It's kinda cool. Makes it uh, a bit of a chore. Obviously, you can see it's just bolt by bolt putting everything together. It gets pretty crazy. Okay. You can really screw up by not tightening things all the way. Alright, so at that point, our main bearings, we need to do our pistons. Actually, oh, I like to do these by flipping it upside down. It's nice to keep it close to the edge of the bench. That always helps. These are pretty straightforward, as you can imagine. Get these in here one by one. If the obviously it's they're actually labeled. You can see piston one, piston two, piston three. Got to make sure you get them in the correct spots. Okay, I think we need to bolt those motherfuckers down. Pistons, we have eight seven mil. So 
Sometimes it's nice to step a little bit farther back and get all up in the grill of this shit. Using this like lean function. Sometimes it's not good to do that. <laughs> these ones are always a bit of a pain. For whatever reason, these are always kind of small. And the, the like hitboxes, if you want to say that, are uh, a little bit hard to hit occasionally. There we go. If you guys see me do something stupid, if you guys are actually kicking back and watching all this, try to let me know if you can, because I'd hate to build the whole thing and it all go to shit. That can totally happen. Alright, so let's see. We got the pistons in. We need to do the head gasket to the block. So for that, we're going to need to flip this over. Get our head gasket. This one's easy. Just pops right on there. And then we need to... Let's see... I guess we do this, yeah, cylinder head next. Pop that sucker on there. Cylinder head is 10 7 millimeters. This is one of the biggies. Well, I guess I already have a 7. Not that many things have uh, 10 bolts on it. This is one of them, though. And again, it doesn't matter how you tighten them. If this was real life, you wouldn't be tightening them in this uh, configuration, I guess, but since it doesn't matter it makes it a little bit easier to just hit them in the more most efficient pattern instead of like in real life you would work outside in things like that so it don't matter I think this game's real enough it doesn't need to be overly real you know what I mean yeah this game looks super fun Caleb yeah it's pretty sweet like it took me a bit to really get on board with it because it does almost seem a little silly and it's time-consuming and shit like that but you know, you stop, you kick back, especially if you're not streaming and stuff. It's like you, okay, I put the motor together. The next day when you play, it's like, okay, we'll put the uh, all the suspension together, and it's like it's pretty cool, man. It's a it's a process, pretty sweet. All right, so now we have the uh, cylinder head on there. We'll grab our spark plugs, throw those in there. Kind of interesting, we do that already. Again, these are all labeled, so you have. You have to put them in the right, put it in the right hole, if you know what I'm saying. You actually have to screw these in. You don't need a wrench, you just do it by hand. Same with like your oil filter, which is a little bit more realistic because you really would only do it with your hand. In most cases. I guess they do those like oil filter wrenches, but those are pretty lame. You don't need to put an oil filter on or spark plugs in for that matter, very tight, but you still use a spark plug wrench, usually more for the reason of it's going down in there and you couldn't do something with your hand. I guess if you could get a big grasp on a spark plug, <laughs> I guess you could do that. Okay, let's grab this phone call real quick. See what's up. My dad asked me to call about the sewage. The sewage well. It is full. He is drunk. <laughs> Alright, thanks bro. So you'll see another, uh, it's gonna say another pin on the, uh, map, but I only see this one, unless I'm blind. Yeah, that's all I see. It's kind of weird. Oh, we got a lot of building to do. Okay, so we just did our spark plugs. Let's do our rocker shaft. Get that on there. With the rocker shaft, we have five. 8 millimeter. 5 is the smallest we have available. Wait. I read that. I said that correctly, but did it wrong. So our rocker shaft is 5, 8 millimeters. Duh. Duh, bro. Duh. The firewood job will disappear. That would be your other dart. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to do any of the firewood jobs at the moment, Moto. Does it matter if I uh, does it matter if I answer stuff or whatever? I just want to fill up with the sewage jobs and then go do like three of them at once. You know what I mean? The usual. 
Would suck to die, and how do you earn money or food? Moto's answering that in chat, but for everybody on YouTube, yeah, you go do those jobs, you make some pretty bit good money, then you buy food with that, fuel, uh, and you can buy car parts and things like that. Aftermarket stuff, it's pretty cool, there's a lot you can do. Okay, so we got a rocker shaft in, now we need to do our camshaft, there it is. Let's see if we can get away with... Oh yeah, this isn't like dual overhead, so it goes down low, I think it's probably best me to flip this at the moment. Actually, that was probably a bad call. Let's see, I think this is actually pretty picky to get in. Guess not. Okay, so with our camshaft, there's two five millimeters. And I believe it's on the end here. Yep, there they are. There's the two for our camshaft. No overhead cam there, so it's always one of those goofy ones. Usually that's the kind of car I'm working on. Uh, don't forget the electronics on the spark plugs. Um, do I need to do the electronics on the spark plugs at the moment? Not sure what you mean. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Sorry, I just got to double check. Sometimes you got to be kind of anal making sure you're... Especially since I'm chatting and looking at stuff it's gonna make me miss something <laughs> okay so camshaft gear there she is actually I guess that goes all on that same side the camshaft gear is 110 mil I don't know why I'm saying mil it just sounds cool millimeter bro millimeter so just this one I'm surprised we do the timing chain next. Boom, that's on there. Nothing for that. Let's go the timing cover. Where's that at? Do 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 do. Um, where is shit? We got our stuff here. Hold on. Try to get everything organized. I know we do these at the same time really our alternator that whole side there that's just our engine plate where the fuck is it oh there it is jesus okay well ugh, there it is you know what let's twist our motor around make it easy to do these from the front um timing cover is six six millimeters boom right there we'll start at the top work our way around, make sure we get all six, two, three, four, come on, five and six, all pretty obvious ones. Sometimes you'll have bolts that like you really got to search around for, you know? Um, okay, let me scroll down on my guide here. Timing cover. Get this situated correctly. Let's see, we just did the timing cover, so now we can do the water pump. And again, this uh, guide will be in the description. There's the water pump. It's nice to do this all on this side here. Water pump, five, seven millimeters. Uno, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that was our water pump. Now we need to do our crankshaft pulley. Let's see, so our water pump pulley, I, I'm surprised we can't do that at the same time. You know what I mean? So our carburetor, I want to put that with our air filter. Sorry, I usually like to organize all this stuff before I get going. I'm going to put that down with our air filter here. What am I looking for? Let's see, our water pump pulley. It's obviously not that. It's a fucking pulley. How did I not see that? I was just moving it. <laughs> Actually, I am doing this incorrectly. Let me make sure we get this in the right order here. 
Yeah, so that was our water pump. Let's see, we did our water pump. Now we need to do our crankshaft pulley. There it is, Jesus. Sometimes you just don't see this stuff. Even if you know what it looks like, it's like you just don't see it. Let's see, water pump pulley, four, seven millimeter. Whoops. Crankshaft pulley, 111. It's easy to get mixed up. There we go. Now we want to do our water pump pulley. Put that right next to it. And then that one is the 47 millimeters. Easy to get turned around. You might as well put it on now. How about later? Skip that in the guide. Sewage first. Huh. Okay. I thought last time I used, I put it on at like the very end. Maybe I'll do it. It just seemed like one of those things that seemed weird to put it on right away, like in real life, to just have it be dangling off of it. Let's see. That was our water pump pulley. So now we need to hit our distributor. There she is. I think this one's actually super easy. It goes into the side here in that hole. Let's see, the distributor's one six millimeter. There's our six. It's just one tiny little guy here in the back. Get that fucker screwed in. Now with the alternator, I'm not totally sure what I want to do with this. I guess I may as well put it on. I just need to I'll have to loosen it and stuff like that later on here, so we'll see. Alter oh. Alternator. Now is this going to be super easy to put on? Can I just slap this fucker on here? I'm honestly not totally sure. Let's see. This is always one of the weird ones. I don't really remember. Oh yeah, duh. The bottom and then the pivot points here. So let's see. With the alternator, we got one seven millimeter, which is this top guy, I believe. And then we have a screwdriver down here. Um, before I tighten it though, let me think here. Don't I have another bolt for this alternator? I think I actually do. See this, you can see you can tighten and loosen. Once you get your belt on, obviously you'll do that. So I think it's probably worth having this all the way loosened up at the moment so then we can get the belt on. Let me see. I don't really want to have to go through the guide hardcore on the moment. There's that bolt right there, I see it in the back. Just not totally sure what size it is. Let's see. I believe it's a 10. I think that's what that, yeah, that's what it says, 10. So we'll get that on there. I won't even worry about, well, you know what? Treat it how we would in real life. We'll loose, have it all the way loosened up and then I'll just snug it down. Then we'll deal with adjusting it a little bit later on. Um, let me scroll down here. I guess we can already put the fan belt on. Didn't realize that. Last time I think I put it on at the end because I didn't go to the store early enough. So let's see. Yeah, okay, so that worked out pretty good. I guess we can probably... Loosen it up a little bit now, maybe move it out. Guess you gotta get it all the way loosened. Move it somewhere like that, just to give it a little bit. You know, obviously I'm just trying to fit it along this belt so it sits in there halfway decently, but not too, too tight, because you can break it, I believe. All right, Mud, I'll catch you in a little bit. I bought Car Mechanic Sim 16 on the phone. It was far better, but that game is good for a mobile game, and there's 24 garages you can get. Yeah, that game's cool, but it's it doesn't have the complexity of this game. Um, you and Moto, when he's back, should get in chat together. Yeah, we totally can get in TeamSpeak if Moto's wanting to. 
Um, but yeah, this game is there's just so much more to it. It's not just I'm not just building a car. It's like I got a lot of this is just step one. Okay, so my parts are ready. My parts are ready at the store, um, but I don't want to go do that. I want to wait for a couple more sewage calls so we can get a few of those, and we'll go in the sewage truck. We'll pick up our parts, and we'll do a bunch of jobs on the way so we can bank up some money and pay for all that shit. So we'll do that all at once. What's up, Garrett? Thanks for being here, everybody. Caleb, uh, I don't know who's all in here. Let me check something really quickly. Cool, yeah, we got like 26 people in here. I figured on the middle of a Saturday playing a weird game like this, there wouldn't be many people. So everybody that's here, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're having a good time, having a good weekend. Just kicking back. Uh, that's what this is good for, right? So let's keep moving here. The engine plate, obviously that's going to go on the other side. Oh. Got to kind of pick it up by the block. Oh no. Wait, hold on. Fan bell, then we'll do the engine plate, then we'll do... Yeah, okay, it just didn't look like it was... I just had it twisted upside down, I guess. Um, so the engine plate doesn't have anything, but then we got the starter, uh, which has two... seven millimeters, so let's grab that wrench while we're at it. There's our seven see what else do we have up top here none of this top stuff we're gonna need for a while um, this is where headers clutch master cylinder brake master cylinder and stuff like that is so that'll be good once we get this out of here it'll make sense now doesn't the starter just go down in this bracket yeah it does so there's two seven millimeters here it looks like they're in the back get that one there so this is where it can get kind of cool because you can do this like lean in thing. Again, I know a lot of you guys have played this game and you might be super pro at it, but um, hold on, the starter's got two sevens. Do 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 do. So we got that guy. There it is. I don't really like the way I've got it sitting here. I wonder if we can have it hang off a little bit. So we can get a little bit more realistic view of where that other one is. See what I mean? Sometimes you got to position stuff right where you want it to be able to see what you need. Just to make sure you got them tightened up, right? I'm quite new to your channel. I'm loving your vids. Thanks, man. I haven't been posting very much lately. Um, usually I post a lot more, but I'm just having more fun playing stuff in my free time. So thanks for being here on one of these uh, streams. Uh, what is that? The trading, The Trading Panda. Thanks, dude. Alright, so, let's follow our guide here. We got the starter on, now we need to grab a couple different things. I guess we needed to do the uh, carburetor. There, That's what it says. Forgot I put that down here. That one's super generous with being way off to be able to pop that one on there. Four 8mm, some of them are definitely not that way. Some of them are a bitch to get on. Okay, four eight millimeters. Gotta stay on track here and not lose concentration. <laughs> okay, we got two. Let's get it a little bit easier to work on here. Three, and I think the bottom one, four. Pretty straightforward getting that carburetor on there. I uh, hope Moto, Moto's probably still gone. I was going to ask him about tuning the valves when he recommends to do that because he did it a little bit different than me. Um, I know you can do it once you have it in the car, so maybe I'll just do it then. Do, 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 do. Carburetor. So we just got that on there. Now we need to put the headers on. I'm surprised. That's cool. I wonder if I can get sloppy with this one yet. Okay, the headers, you have five eight millimeter. Sometimes it's hard to see. I think we have the eight, yep. So we got five of these suckers. Two, 
too. Let's stand up for this one, maybe lean in. Get a better view here. Three. I think it's just that one on that middle portion. Four and five. He headers five, eight mil. So there's nothing on this bottom part, but you can kind of see with me clipping through here. Should have them all. Okay. Let's see, flywheel, six, seven millimeters. Hmm, I didn't realize we did the flywheel already. Okay, let me grab this once again and move it. You also get a little bit more light as you can see. The flywheel, six sevens. There's our seven. Get these six real quickly here. Two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six. Sorry, we had a little ad there in the middle. You're going to get a couple of those because I'm just chilling on this uh, YouTube playlist. Okay, uh, we got the flywheel in. Now we need to do the clutch disc and all this stuff. And how do you pop these together? How how does it like it? Just like that. Okay. So now we should just be able to pop this on here. Flip it over. Eh. Oh, I did not need to flip it over. Okay, so six six millimeter. 66. All these guys are on the outside edge. Alright. Three. Four. Five and six. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we got the whole clutch assembly on there. Now we can, wow, we can put the uh, oil pan on. Wonder if I can get away with doing that in a super glitchy fucking way. Oh goodness. Let's flip this thing over here. Pop that thing on there. You know what, let's actually drag it off a little bit. That'll give us a chance to see these bolts just a little bit easier. Oil pan, we already did clutch assembly, so eight, seven millimeters, which is what we have now. <laughs> Sorry, I said eight, right? Yes, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we need to grab a 13 millimeter, one of the bigger guys, and get that drain bolt down there on the bottom. That sucker shut. Obviously, you don't want to leave that open. Okay, now we can grab the gearbox. Let's grab this phone call. Might be another sewage job. We can put that, get that dart on our map. Yep. There it is. There's the pin. Good. That's one right by the store. If you guys remember, that's where that. Uh, store is and the gas station and all that so that's where we're gonna have to go to pick up our parts so we can take this longer way get this one uh, do that sewage job get the cash for that it's 1200 bucks then do that one get 1200 bucks and then do the store stuff hopefully we can get one more in there and then we'll go pick up our parts I'd like to get the engine built and stuff before we do that really we're not in a hurry at the moment so 
Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm recording for YouTube, so I probably won't get Moto in here at the moment. Maybe we'll switch it up later on. Drink. Yeah, dude, fuck. I wasn't even looking at that. I wasn't even looking at my bars. Thank you. That'd be funny to just die or something because I didn't drink. Thanks, fellas. That's why I'm live streaming this shit, so you guys can call me out. <laughs> There we go, ate one of our sausages. Let's piss in the toilet because we're gentlemen. Damn straight. I might even save and quit here, but I wanna make sure, yeah, cause I got the transmission on the ground. It's pretty obvious, we got the engine together, we just gotta do our transmission and stuff now, so. We'll do a quick save and quit. It does advance time by like two hours or something like that. Yellow likes the footlongs. <laughs> Alright. There we go. We'll get back into things here. Fatigue. We're gonna, again, we're going to let that go. Uh, make that thing go up pretty high before we do any sleeping. Of course, it almost sounds like morning. Uh, clock's right here. Let's see, it's like 8 a.m. Maybe it's 8 p.m. Hopefully, it's 8 p.m. I think the sun sets over there. I can't remember. Who gives a shit? All right, so let me get our guide situated here. Gearbox is what we're on now. Cool. Sweet, man. Let's do this. Bum, 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 bum. See, this is a super chill stream. I'm sure it's not for everybody. Yellow, I must say, I've seen people play this game and their stuff lays on the ground. Stuff you're really neat. Damn straight, bro. Oh. Dude, this oil does not want to... Does not want to stay up there. Ugh, dude. Dude! Oh no. I didn't realize these got all messed up, that's why. They didn't look that bad, they were just like all glitched into each other. There we go, now we should be able to fit this one in there, no problem. Hopefully it'll stay there. It's on the shelf pretty nice. Okay. Gearbox. Uh, I guess I gotta flip this around, don't I? Well, maybe it, maybe it'll be generous. Let me just shove this shit on the bottom here. Come on. Cool. Sometimes it's not that way. Gearbox. We have six seven millimeters and one ten millimeter. I forgot. This always fucking spawns all ridiculous. Now I, like, can't grab my toolbox here. The fuck? Uh, I'm just stupid. Yeah, let's get these out of the way. I'll probably just chuck them. Get the fuck out of here! I'm not gonna paint anything for a little while. Okay. Now we can work. Guess who's here? Oh's. Oh shit. What's up, man? What's up, Aaron? What's up? How do you say that? Kyla? Why does it say that? C A L L E C Y L L A? I don't know. I don't know what I'm reading. Okay, so the gearbox. We have six, seven millimeters. There's our seven. Let's see if we can find these things. We want to make sure we do this correctly. Dun, 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 dun. Trying to get an idea of where. Okay. Do 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 gearbox six seven mils. Let me make sure I got the seven real quick. Okay. I don't really like doing it like this. Maybe it's worth... Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, so let me make sure we got this straight. I didn't realize it was bolting it on this side, so maybe we should move it. Let's see if we can get this sucker twisted just a bit. That was the problem. You don't have any light on it. Let's move it out just a smidgen. Now, we have six of these seven millimeters, so let's make sure we get these correctly. I think it's just these obvious ones on the sides. That'll help it be a little bit more straightforward. Three. Make sure we got those all the way in there. One, two, three. Two, three. Okay, another phone call. Hopefully it's another sewage job, just like we were one. Should work out pretty good. Uh, just, just another reminder about the uh, post. Our parts are ready at the store. Okay. Make sure we got all these ones we were on, especially getting interrupted with a phone call. That's the way you forget it, you know? Um, drive gear. Wait, hold on. Gearbox. So our big stuff we have left, rocket color cover, our oil filter. There's that drive gear. Fuel pump. Electronics, we'll put that on here shortly. I guess our brake master cylinder's on the ground somewhere? It's weird, I only see that one. I'm sure it's around. Okay. So what I say, drive gear. And go. Drive gear. Damn. Seven, six millimeters? I'm surprised this one has so many. Where? Huh. Seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess maybe standing up is the way to go. Right, I said seven, six millimeters for this sucker. Is there nothing else on this, uh, this end here? I figured it was one of those, but I guess not. Do, do, do. Under the arm you just screwed in and the circle bolts. I don't know with how far we're behind. Let me count these one more time, make sure we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. Blocked by review. Yeah, thanks, Mono. It always takes me a second, you know. When you can't see stuff like that, it's like, fuck, where is it, man? Okay. So that's everything for the drive gear. Motor to uh, hoist to block. It's two 10 millimeters. So we're going to put this sucker on there. Moto. Ugh. Um, forgot what I was going to say to you, Moto. Oh. These ele electrics? I guess we'll do this. Actually, just let me... Boom. Now, I'm assuming there's nothing on there other than once you actually bolt it into the car here. Doesn't look like there's anything. Just obviously want to make sure, since this is actually not in the uh, guide, is what Moto said. It's a pretty obvious one that you put on. I put it on once I had it in the car before, but may as well get it on there. So, now we got to get it onto this hoist, which can be a little challenging... We'll actually turn it this way, give us a little bit of room. Be able to get this thing on there correctly. Now, this one took me a little bit of time at the beginning here. Did you get the 10 millimeter on the side of the gearbox yellow? Just making 100% sure I missed it. You know what? I think I may have missed it. Let's check. Let's grab our 10 millimeter. 
said side of the gearbox, right? Maybe we'll flip it over again, take a look at this gearbox. I think I did miss it. Hmm, 10 millimeter on the side of the gearbox. There she is. Thanks, Moto. Appreciate it, man. Same stuff. I'm a carbon copy of Wannabe Yellow. What? Moto, what do you do on your channel? Yeah, man, we all like we all like the same games, man. There's some good shit out there. The Moto games are a great time if you're a Moto fan, obviously. I think that's what brought us all together. Do, do, do. Okay. Just wanted to make sure there's nothing else silly. Yeah, thanks, Moto, dude. I totally read that, too. It's an easy one to miss. That's kind of funny. So anyway, guys, um, we're going to get this thing on to the hoist. And when you look at it, um, this side over here is lower than this side. So that kind of gives you an idea. You'll notice our brackets. It's a little bit more easier to notice once you got it on the ground and you kind of know where you're heading with this. So we got one there on our header and the other one's here so this one's lower so we actually want to flip this sucker around put it in the middle ish that's halfway lined up you know, to twist it a little bit here try to get it as lined up as we can we'll lower the arm of this engine hoist here and then I threw it on the ground <laughs> The people watching this back on YouTube are probably don't know what the hell I'm saying at times when I'm reading chat. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Okay, you actually... Wait, I think it already added the bolts. Yeah, okay, cool. So what were they? Hoist block, they're two 10 millimeters. Did I already grab it? Guess I did. Okay. surprised that worked I was way off and it clipped into place nicely so that's good okay so we got our motor on the hoist I think you may have missed another one on the gearbox yeah I think I'm good um some of them you see some bolts on there but not every bolt some of the stuff is like already partially put together like the gearbox for example so there's already visual bolts on there you know what I mean doesn't mean they're all ones that you actually tighten in. Um, Moto, I have a question for you in chat. Uh, when should I adjust the valves? Because I guess I should do that now, shouldn't I? And I know you had a had it pretty well figured out because you can mess that up pretty damn easily. Um, and usually I didn't do it before. Um, I wouldn't mind adjusting these valves right away. Especially, I guess I can get it a couple of things off the ground so we can celebrate. We can celebrate this thing, having this thing up on the hoist. It's a monumentous occasion, man. We got this thing put together. Probably don't need to go, well. Still see the top of the motor pretty easy. Maybe we'll leave it at that height if we're going to do these valves, which you can see are all of these silver guys. Mm, it's almost a little too high now. I'll just point real close. Those that I'm looking at right there, these silver ones, I believe there's eight. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. So that's kind of what I'm thinking to adjust to those. And I know there's a few ways to do it. Um, cause after we do that, after we adjust the valves, we put the rocker cover on, which will cover that up. So we may as well do it now. Then we have the fuel pump, the air filter to put on top of it all. And then, uh, the motor's completely done. So, 25 up, 11 down. It always works. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this done. I'm gonna have to concentrate big time at the moment. So 25 up, 11 down. My mouse is not very good for this. One. Okay. Holy fuck. That was a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's a great way to get those valves tuned ahead of time, not have to deal with it once you got it all put in the car and you want to start it up. All right, so adjust, adjust uh, the valve. We got it on there. Now we got to put a rocker cover on. Get that thing on there. That's six seven mil. Six seven millimeters. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so the rocket cover has six sevens. Let me make sure I got them all tightened. Three, four, five, and six. Probably should sleep because I don't want to sleep through the whole day once I get things going. We'll do a quick sleep here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love it, man. I love it when my chat is talking cars. Like, that makes me so happy. O's and Moto, good fellas. Okay. Drink real quick. Piss right back into the sink. There we go. There we go. And I guess we can eat something too. Just walking and pissing like a man. Alright. Dirtiness is going up, but whatever, man. Whatever. Okay. So, on our list. The rocker cover, we just got that on there. Moto, you said that we should do our carburetor now. What? What? How many clicks did you say and in, in what direction? I'll do that after I guess I get this. Uh, we can put the fuel pump and the air filter on. Let's see. Oh, not oil filter, air filter, but... Let's do that fuel pump first. I don't remember where this goes. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the hole. There's the hole. Uh, fuel pump, two seven millimeters, which I already have out. This one's pretty straightforward here. One, two. Uh, air filter, two six millimeter. I don't feel like that's... I can't put that on if I'm gonna tune the... No, I can. I can. Duh. I can tune the carburetor even if I have this on there. Uh, and this is two six millimeters. Boom, six. Let's check this thing all the way up. It is. <laughs> 
Just a weird height, I guess. Let's see, what can we find? The two sixes. Do, 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 do. Wait. Yeah. Um, air filter, two sixes. Yeah, that's correct. Do, do. Like the most obvious point right in front of me. That's funny. Okay, so we got the two sixes in for the air filter. And I believe that's everything. Let's see. I'm going to go check Moto's thing where he was saying... The carburetor. Carburetor you want to go up eight clicks and then tune it after it heats up. Up eight clicks is what we're going to do. Grab our screwdriver and we can tune that carburetor before we get it in the car. Up eight clicks. Hopefully you're right, Moto. I trust you. I trust you. I know I'm on the right one when it shows up, but I'm just anal about it. Up eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Should be a ballpark. So that's good. So our engine is completely done. That's the whole process of building the engine. Um, obviously, again, not a tutorial, but just kind of a walkthrough, playing the game, having a good time. Um, engine built. 